Hi everyone, welcome to Azure SQL database video series. In this video series, we will discuss about security. Security is always major concern for organization when migrating your own premises data to cloud. Microsoft Azure provide a multiple security layer to protect the data. Microsoft data center are most secure data center among the world. So let's discuss the security layers. So there are a four types of security layers in Microsoft Azure. First is network security, access management, threat protection and information protection. In my previous video, we have discussed about the network security. So how to configure a firewall on Azure. I, I have provided a link below. Today, we are going to discuss about access management. So in the Microsoft Azure, we have a two types of administrative control. First is server admin and second is Azure Active Directory admin. So whenever you create your SQL server on Azure, by default, you have to provide a username and password. And this username and password are stored in your master database to connect your SQL server. If you want to uh, connect your SQL Server through AD account, then you have to configure uh, Azure Active Directory admin. Another, there are two types of additional administrative roles are available in Azure. First is DB Manager and second is Login Manager. Member of a DB Manager can create a new database in a SQL Azure. Um, and the login manager, the member of login manager, create a new logins in a master database. So uh, the server role like a sysadmin, to sysadmin, db created are not available on Azure SQL Server. But from the database perspective, all the roles like a db owner, data reader, data writer, deny db, De uh, deny data reader, deny data writers are available on SQL Azure. Thank you very much. See you in a demo. Welcome to demo. So I have connected my Azure SQL database through SSMS using a username and password. Now I am. Uh, let's create now a username on Azure and provide a additional role DB Manager and Login Manager to the particular member. So I have created a login. The syntax are similar uh, like your own premises SQL server. So create a login. I am creating, uh, creating a login SQL test with a password this on master database. Now I am creating a user and assign a login. Now I am giving a role DB manager. So alter role DB manager, add member and the username. So alter role. And I'm giving now a login manager role. Okay. Let's see all the on premises server role like sysadmin, bulk admin, and process admin are not available on Azure. Cannot alter the role bulk admin by or because it does not exist or they do not have a permission. Okay, now let's uh, uh, log in with the SQL test and confirm. <clears throat> yes, so now I am able to access a database SQL server through a SQL test login. And here now I am able to create a login or a create a database. So let's quickly check. First, let's access the SQL Brain Box database. Okay. So he, here I am not able to access any tables. So in the SQL Server Brain Box database, I have a table called test. So through SQL test login, I am not able to access the SQL test data uh, table. Now let's uh, create a login. So let me copy and paste. 
so i am able to create a login similarly you can able to access a database through sql test thank you very much see you in the next video